All right. Magna Bevitasi is our place. There he is. <laughs> Oh, this is God. Oh, my shit. Hey, guys, I'm Juliet, a Charleston chick in Venice. And in my many visits here, yeah. I've made a lot of local friends who have passed on their thoughts about life in Venice to me, and now I'm passing them on to you. Here is another one of my insider travel tips for visiting Venice. Learn some key phrases. My Venetian pals say there are several reasons why. Number one, it shows respect. I can't tell you how many times I've sat at my friend's restaurant and listened to people at the next table rattling off questions in English, speaking very fast, and then getting annoyed when the server gets confused or doesn't understand. By not expecting them to know English, you're saying, I understand I'm in your country, not the other way around. Believe me, whether it's at my friend Jacopo's Osteria, I Specchieri, which is smack dab in the center of the tourist action, or Rami's old school Venetian Ristorante, a little further out in the Castello Sestieri, a little respect goes a long way. Number two, it shows you're not just another tourist. You're not just in Venice to ride gondolas and tour Romanesque palaces like Ca de Mosto, the oldest palazzo in Venice. You're a person who took the time out of your busy life to find out a little about their culture. Number three, it's a great way to learn how to speak the language. The more words and phrases you know, beautiful, the more you want to learn. Number four, it's just cool. I mean, sitting there thousands of miles away from home in a trattoria set in a Gothic building dating back hundreds of years, speaking Venetian is the ultimate in cool. And yes, by the way, locals speak Venetian, similar to Italian, but not exactly the same. You can get away with speaking the latter, don't worry. And number five, it is a great way to meet friends, maybe lifelong friends. One day, John and I walked into a little bar off St. Mark's Square and struck up a conversation with the bartender. Ten years later, Francesco, who helps run Magna Bevitasi, a baccaro, like a tavern or pub, and his family are family to us. And because we felt confident in speaking a little of his language, he tried to speak a little of ours, and the rest is history. I'm going to post this, I swear to God. <laughs>